Oh, this is the No Face Movement. And it's February 9th, 2013. I'm bringing a lot of news, breaking news for February the 9th to February 10th, 2013. And expect my weather videos out for tomorrow night. Um, we're about to get down to the run. A lot of strange things happened today. On uh, February the 9th, I put all those warnings out. Came true. Storms, Boston, Massachusetts. Earthquakes, all right? In Brazil. Earthquakes in the Solomon Islands still, all right? There's, it's just a lot of stuff going on, folks, all right? Um, but before we get into those kind of videos, everyone's wondering what caused the blackout of 2013 at the Super Bowl. My belief is uh, it's part of the ritual, all right? But these other people believe that uh, UFOs uh, was over uh, the Superdome, all right? Um, it could have been many things. It could have been a drone. It could have been a blimp. I believe in UFOs, but I don't believe they're UFOs. I believe the UFOs, what people call UFOs, is spirits, because they move different. What about you, Mystique? What do you think UFOs are? I think UFOs are transitional beings, actually, from another dimension. I believe that they're interdimensional beings. And you see, that's the best way to explain Mystique's word on point. Same here. All right, but... um. I'm going to show that UFOs cause a lot of blackouts, alright? There's reports all over the world, UFOs cause blackouts, alright? Um, here's the video. Hey guys, W7 here. I wanted to share with you a video clip of an object that we've seen or found right above the Superdome. Literally right before the lights go out. Right there. Just wanted to share it with you guys. It may be nothing. Uh, maybe something. Never know. Didn't know if anybody else out there caught anything on their cams. Uh, I'll leave a link so you guys can check this out. But there was something that appeared, like two little lights, right above the Superdome, right before the lights have went out. Let's see if we can pause this. Okay. You can see all the blimps and stuff in the sky. I just about pause it. Right there. See those two lights? Now, I could tell there ain't no blimp. Blimps don't look like that. But it could be a drone or a plane. But they ain't shown a plane earlier through it. Alright, folks. That's how it just pops up and disappear. Kind of strange. Um, let's get to the article. And then we got some more breaking news. I'm putting all, I got so many reports, so I'm double teaming tonight. All right. So here's an article, UFO sighting caused a mysterious 2013 uh, power blackout. Here we go. The unexpected power blackout during the 2013 Super Bowl got even more mysterious. In a video footage available at YouTube, two strange UFOs with red lights were spotted hovering above the Louisiana Superdome before the power was suddenly cut out. The video footage is a live camera feed from the online weather center for New Orleans. The male narrator on the video stated there was something that appeared right above the Superdome right before the lights went out. Maybe nothing, maybe something, but there was something above the Superdome in the sky right before the lights went out. The major United States sports event was put on hold for 34 minutes when the lights suddenly went out. 111 million viewers lost the Super Bowl broadcast. In New Orleans, officials are still puzzled as to what really caused the interruption on the American football match between the Baltimore Ravens and San Francisco 49ers. Even the energy supplier in New Orleans admitted they found no results to explain the power blackout based on their investigation. The Superdome owners has reportedly requested for a full-scale examination on the incident where consultants are being called in to evaluate the data. Over $1 million worth of stadium development were ordered as well, following the after effects of the power blackout. Meanwhile, viewers can watch the video footage on YouTube entitled Blimp or UFO, Lights Above Super Bowl 47 Before Blackout, New Orleans Superdome Blackout, UFO. The main reason for the 2013 Super Bowl power blackout still remains unclear for the UFO spotted on the video could have been an aircraft that coincided with a possible electricity supply failure during the Super Bowl game. And uh, I think that's crazy. Um, my belief, all right, 
is that it was a ritual. I got all the proof to back it up. We're, we're doing series on this, me and uh, Mystique. Um, so check out my videos on that. All right. It could have been something in the air. could have been a UFO. It could have been an ET. Uh, extra dimension being. That's what we believe UFOs are. Interdimensional. Interdimensional beings. Or it could have been a drone. You remember in Batman when Batman hit that button and all the electricity went out? Mm -hmm. Well, that could have been that during the ritual. All right. Now I got some other breaking news. All right. They found a metal object on space. But I think it's BS. I think they done found life on space. All right, if you can look, let me show you the pictures real fast. This is a rock. All right. You see all the rocks. You ain't got nothing growing out these rocks except that little thing. All right. When you look at it, it looks like a creature, doesn't it? Like some kind of dinosaur or a reptilian kind of creature with uh, two eyes. Well, I don't believe they're eyes. I think they're covering it up from the glare. But that is not no metal object. It has arms, if you can see it. it has legs. Alright, so they found life on Mars. Alright, but they're covering up, calling it a metal object. So let's get into the article. Um, what's this weird hunk of metal we just found on Mars? Mars is, on the one hand, a source of unending fascination. It is, after all, Mars. And we're exploring it with, you know, a nuclear-powered robot that leaves Morse code in its tracks. But Mars, on the other hand, and no offense to it or to say it robot, is also a source of unending unendingness. It is dusty and hilly and rocky and red, mile after mile, lather, rinse, repeat. Except every once in a while, and there have been several of those onces in a not very long while, curiosity happens upon something that is not red and not dusty and not necessarily rocky. There was December's Mars flower, a pebble-sized whitish object that some thought to be a fossil, and some thought to be a rock, and some thought to be a piece of errant plastic from Curiosity itself. The jury is still out on what the object actually is, though it's pretty safe to say that it is not, in fact, some kind of Martian marigold. And now we have another Martian mystery object. This one, a thing that looks suspiciously like a hunk of metal. Curiosity detected it through a high-res image taken from its mass cam on Seoul 173, January the 30th in Earth Days. Universe Today calls the object a small metallic-looking protuberance. It resembles a thick bent nail sticking out of the Martian surface, and it is visible in parts because it projects a tiny little shadow on the rock below. A tiny shadow, though. The protuberance in question is probably only about 0.5 centimeters, or a fifth of an inch, in height. Elisabetta Bonara, an image editing enthusiast, noticed the object and pointed it out to Universe Today. Here it is, via Bonara's flicker feed, zoomed way in. So, what is it? It could be iron, perhaps from a meteorite. Planet Save speculates. The iron seems not to be oxidized, which would track with the low levels of oxygen present in the Martian atmosphere. The object could also be something that has grown on the rock below it, says Universe Today. The fact that it doesn't seem to be covered in dust, however, the thing per this photo is shiny, will give further credence to the metal theory, since metallic surfaces tend to resist dust more easily than other materials do. Or maybe it's just a misleadingly lit photo. At this point, we just don't know. That's the magic and the frustration of exploring another planet from here on Earth, of making Mars a place that is close to and far from us at the same time. Our evidence itself can be mysterious. Our data are often literally rocky. NASA and JPL and their roving little robot will try their best, ostensibly, to figure out what that apparent hunk of metal is. In the meantime, though, we'll all have to be satisfied with a little Martian mystery. So if you look at this, they're saying this is centimeters. They're saying this is tiny, right? Look how big that rock is. All right. I say that's a boulder-sized rock. Right in the middle, you got this thing. All right. As they move up closer, you see the arms, the legs, all right? And, of course... The metal on its head. 
or what is covering up the head. Then when you look at this picture, you can see a mouth, arms, legs. You got one, two, you got the back legs, three, and then a tail. Now that's shocking, folks. I can't say 100% that's another creature, but I'm telling you, that, that looks like a creature. Links are at the bottom, so please comment and tell us what you think it is. All right? What do you think it is, Mystique? Well, I think it's either a creature or a probe. It could be some type of probe from another uh, species, or it could be a probe of our own, actually, that we just don't recognize right now. But if it's on Mars, and if it's supposedly a snapshot, I believe that it's another species. Or we could have sent a genetically engineered creature and see if it could survive on Mars. Ah, that's good. This is the No Face Moon. Please rate, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Blogspot, Critterbox, and Godlike Production. Uh, go check out Mystique's channel because she got that 2013 giveaway. And expect the and update. Tomorrow. The update is finally here. In the next few days, you're going to see our websites. Um, we got donations to help support the movement. Um, please rate, subscribe, and comment. This is the movement. Move, move to next time. Facing off. Be prepared and be safe. Bye.